Yeah. Hello everyone, I am Charan and from group 2. Now I will give you a short demo of how you analyzed the data set using the software tool ARX. So first thing we need to do here is to create a new project. Now after creating new project, we need to import our dataset. So here we are using this CSU data file. So after importing the dataset, uh, we need to classify each and every attribute as whether it is quotient thing or edit thing or sensitive or insensitive like we thought to classify age, job, marital, uh, education, housing loan and personal loan as quotient thing and rest of them as insensitive or sensitive like the columns P, P outcome and Y command are sensitive because here the column name Y suggests the whether an individual having these attributes hence attributes are accepted to take long term deposit or not and P outcome represents uh, whether he accepted to take long term deposit in the previous campaign or not. So these both columns command are sensitive and rest of them are insensitive. So here I am classifying age as quasi fine. And for job also I am classifying as quasi fine. Same for marital also. Education. Now for the column. Now for the column P outcome, we we'll pass it as sense two. For Y also. Now after classifying attributes, uh, we need to generalize these quasi identifying attributes. Like we'll replace each and every value in the H column with certain range, and and the column with column name and job also will represent each and every value with certain set of values same with education also so for, for, for generalizing the column we have to create a hierarchy so these are all the possible ways to generalize the column name age so we will use intervals for this and and here the minimum value minimum age value in the given in the data set is 17 and maximum is 99 so what this represent here is like for age values greater than or equal to 80 it will replace with just greater than or equal to 80 not a, not with certain range Now here are the levels of generalization. Like level zero means uh, it just replaces a single value. Level one means a certain range, and level two is it replaces each and every with J star. Like as the level as the number of level increases, the gap it, the uh, range of interval also increases. So, so here level one is 100 to 35. Now we'll do the same for column job also. Creating an hierarchy. We'll use ordering and we'll add an another level with size 2 we'll add an one more level of size 2 so after doing this uh, the levels of generalization will be this level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3 so level three will have four column, four 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 values in this set. Uh, now we'll do the same for education also.
Yeah. So now we completed doing general agent for the for the Cossier doing attributes, age, ed education, and job. So the next step is to create a privacy model. So we got real diversity and knowledge technique to use. So we'll do the same. So for the column name p outcome, which is sensitive, we use real diversity. Same for the column name my, we will choose real diversity. L, the L value here is 2. So basically, in column y and p outcome, the total number of distinct values is 2. So the L value here contacts it 2. So maximum L value in L diversity in our case is 2. Now we'll, now we'll keep the suppression limit as 1. So it tries to remove outliers in the data set if there are any. Uh, yeah, now we are ready to anonymize the data set. So just click this. Keeping them as default values, we will proceed. So now no, anonymization has completed. So right side you can, right side you can see the resultant data set. Left side is the input data. So you can see here in the age column it replaced each and every value with a certain range. So for example, 34 it replaced with 135 and job blue color with a set of values. So the algorithm here internally tries all possible levels of generalization and outputs the one having maximum utility. And if you see the these all all these these all rows have the same set of Cossier entering values, and for the same set for all the Cossier entering variables, uh, the target column Y has two distinct values. Here you can see some rows having S, S, S value and some rows having no value. So here a comes.